This is my hardcore Iron Man. Without leaving PvP worlds for almost two years now, I have managed to survive multiple special attacks and multiple tail blocks on my account. I even set a bounty on my own head worth 1 billion to make this challenge harder for myself. Welcome to Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds. And once again we start off at Zora. We're gonna die here. But before we begin, I am very happy to present today's sponsor, which is Displate. Displate is the 21st century's way to put art on your wall. Displate is like a poster, but it's made out of metal, so you don't ever have to worry about it breaking. There are thousands of different designs. My personal favorite is Eat, Sleep, Game, and Repeat. This is a true gamer poster. We also have my hard crier man and what it's about to become. And of course I got myself the RuneScape map too! It's super easy to set up a display. they have a magnet and it won't destroy your wall and it's great. And for every display sold, one tree is planted somewhere in the world. A total of 11 million trees have currently been planted in Africa. And if you use my link before May 11, you will get 30% discount at checkout. You can find the link down below. First kill back to Zora. Battle staffs, thank you. Beautiful manta rays. Two good drops so far. This was such a bad kill. But we get good loot, manta rays. Five minutes! Oh my god, I'm so bad. Now we're getting the bad drops. I think this might be a PB. Yes, it was a PB. Yes, Dragon Halberd and Death Runes. Best drop so far today. Hey, Zolra teleports. I got more Death Runes. Dragon Bones, Chaos Runes. Almost no supplies used and we get more teleports. Palm Tree Seed. And we get Death Runes. Kill count 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And we get Scales for the second to last final kill. One more kill after this one and then we're done. This was the worst final kill, snakeskin and pure essence. He said my name, this bot said my name. Imposter, PvP but hard crime and add imposters to ignore list. What the hell? Uh, first slay task is 134 necreals. We have come a long way in the slay grind. We got the slayer helm in the last episode. 82 slayer right now. In one slayer level we can kill spiritual mages for the dragon shoes. In three levels we can kill abyssal demons for the whip. And in 5 levels, we can kill Kraken for the Trident. And that's the task completed! As you can see, I have only 15 points, which means I cannot skip the next task. Black Dragons, thank you very much, that's a very easy task. Alright, Mr. Big Black, give it to me. Give me the visage. And that's the task completed! Next task? Blue Dragons, yeah. 66 prayer. Oh, and that's the task completed. I didn't see this guy. Worms. As if I don't see this guy. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna run out. <laughs> oh my god, I got something rare. A dragon harpoon, baby. Hey, look at that. One in 2k drop rate, but I can't even use it. Alright, this was a long ass task, but we have completed it! We can go home now. I didn't realize worms were this good. From 160 worms, I got 170k worth of blood runes, a dragon harpoon, and 163k cash. Look at this bad boy. I can now go fishing for new subscribers. <clears throat> Next task. Blue dra Okay, I'm gonna skip this one. Oh, this is even worse. I'm gonna take a leap of faith and use my last 30 points to skip this task. Please give me something good. Good, yes, worth it. And that's the Aberrant Spectre task completed. Alright, another Slayer task which I cannot skip. Call fight Snow. What evil man sells 1000 blood runes to a PvP world? Oh my god. Finally, that's the Call fight task completed. We got 75 points, so I can skip a lot of tasks now. But we're gonna take a break from Slayer, we're gonna go back to Zora. And get lucky. But we are not lucky. Ah, Chaos Runes, not lucky. That was a quick one. Still so much supplies left, then we get nothing. Death Runes, thank you, something. What the hell was that? Do people actually sell items here? Snapdragons, thank you. And we get another nothing, 230 kill count. And we get nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my god, that's a big hit. Kill number 10 today for Zora teleports. Guys, can I start complaining about my RNG now at Zora? I'm getting nothing. I will get nothing. I'm not even surprised. <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm not gonna complain. We are 237 kill count without a single unique, but it's okay. It's totally okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Next task. 
Korask. If I get myself two agility levels, I'll be able to use a shortcut in the Slayer dungeon for Korask. This is actually a very good escape. Here's 100 tickets exchanged for 38k experience. 62 agility. That's exactly what we needed, wait. Yeah, we're done. We can go to Korask now. I just got the Korask head and apparently it's 1 in 3000 drop rate. But I'm just gonna let it despawn. Look at that, a leaf bladed axe. I think this is an upgrade. Oh my god, a 44. Yep, this is an upgrade. Um, I just got another Korask head. And that's the Korask task completed. What? Oh, he's still here. Our next task is going to be... Steel dragons. Look, there's a guy doing a jilt here. I'm pretty suspicious. He's dead. He's gotta be dead. You might be a scout. Oh, he didn't see that. We killed him. I think we killed the scout. Die, you stinky little dragon. Die. It's either you or me. There we go. Task completed. Next task. Back to steel dragons. And that's another task completed. Aberrant Spectres. 88 defense. And that's another task completed. Worms. Alright, the final slayer task for a while, then back to Zora. And that's the worm task completed. Let's get out of here. I have a love-hate relationship for these snakes. Pros, the loot is great. I think I made like 250k cash plus 250 blood runes. The cons, however. It's so boring, nothing exciting happens at Worms. And once again, all my money have been spent on runes, so now I can go back to Zora. Is today the day where we finally get our first unique item? Let's find out. A Dragon Halberd. Very good first kill, very good first draw. Okay, this one account have been here for such a long time while I'm doing Zora. It's freaking me out. He's just standing here too. Someone actually tried it! Oh my god! I've always been so much more afraid of someone doing exactly that, bringing full DH, instead of TBing me by the boat. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh my god! The funny thing about that DH is that that's the tactic that I would do if I was hunting myself. Very clever man. Oh no, another scout is here, that's not good. I'm probably going to bed and then I'll continue doing Zora tomorrow. You know what? I can't even wait, I wanna do Zora now. I think they think I left, so it's good we're back. Zora teleports, that's good, good, that's good karma. Alright, I think I've been scouted again, but we're going anyway. Dragonstone bolts, double, that's very bad, but I'm not complaining. For magic seed and Addy Bart. For another magic seed. For more Zolder teleports and grapes. This is great because I'm almost 80 cooking. So all grapes are very good. And we get Chaos Runes. And we get Snapdragon. We can actually use the herbs in one herb lore level. So that's actually good. Really good. This is a very depressing sight. 246 kill count. And we got nothing. Next task is gonna be Ankus. Very easy. What the hell is that? Is that a new pet? That's so cool. Anku task completed. Hellhounds. All right, we got a clue scroll. Let's see if we can do it. Completed. Completed. Complete. Subscribe. Subscribe. And this is going to be the casket. Beautiful. Let's open it. I want a trimmed glory or those D hide boots. Three, two, one. We get nothing. All right, this is the level we have been waiting for. 83 Slayer. We can now get ourselves the Dragon Shoes by killing Spiritual Mages. Here is the important question. Are we gonna kill the Spiritual Mages here in God Wars Dungeon outside of Wilderness or God Wars Dungeon inside of Wilderness? After doing a lot of investigation, I've come to the conclusion that it is safer to kill Spiritual Mages in the Wilderness Dungeon. And good to know the drop rate is one in 128. There's actually someone there. There's actually someone there. That guy we just saw, he didn't look like a scout, but he could potentially be a scout. So I got my own scout. So in case a clan logs in, I got them scouted already. We got it, got it dragon boots, 
Oh my god, there they are. Oh my god, let's take a moment to appreciate these boots. Oh my, look at them. Look at them, they are so beautiful. Let's go. Such a great upgrade. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Okay, I don't want to leak anything. So we're going to go to my house real quick. This is the original climbing boots. 20 strength bonus. And with the D boots, 22 strength. So plus 2 strength damage. That is... Ugh. So we got ourselves the dragon shoes drop on 72 kill count. Just on the drop rate. I could end the video right there on a good note. But I'm 246 kill count at Zora. I want to end on a clean 250 kill count. Kill count 247. For Dwarf Weed. Kill count 248. Manta Rays, thank you. <gasps> no! Oh! No way! No way! How did I fuck up so badly? Ah, oh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh no. I was so... Dude. Why was I so greedy about the 250 kill count? I should have been happy with the dragon boots and called it quits right there. If we look back at the clip of me dying, you can see that I was praying the wrong overhead prayers. Apparently I thought it was a mage face, which is why I prayed mage first. The two previous kills was mage faces, so I just blanked out and I thought it was another mage face. And I messed up. And I deserved to die there. You wanna know the worst part? If I didn't misclick the Karamb one, I would have lived. As with all dead hardcore Ironmans, you gotta showcase what you have achieved. Dragon Warhammer, D-Boots, Dragon Harpoon. This imbued Sammy Cave, we got full Carols, full Thoregs, the Infinity Boots, Zora Scales, and a bunch of other things. Fire Cape. And these are of course the stats, 1600 total. We didn't get a single Night 9 sadly. I was so excited for Night 9 range. Oh man, I didn't really expect to die to Zora to the PVM, but 250 kill count of Zora, I kinda felt like I was confident about not dying and one single misclick and it all ends like that. So a lot of you are probably wondering what's gonna happen with the 1 billion GP. I've decided I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna give 50% away to the community, to everyone who has ever been watching my videos. The rest of the 500 mil, I think I'm gonna give it to the top 3 players who have been hunting me. So there will be some kind of vote. What else? What else do I need to tell you guys before I end my final hard crime and episode? Um, if any content creator wanna take on this challenge of creating a PvP world only hard crime man, you have my full blessing. But just know I'm gonna do everything in my power to hunt you down. Oh yeah, and one final thing, the bank value of my Iron Man goes up to a value of 125 million. Oh yeah, the final thing we need to check. 81 days I've been alive. Free Rex, this is not the time. I've spent 81 days in game during the last 787 days. So we managed to be alive for over two years. I think I managed to cover everything now. So with that being said, dying on my hardcore Iron Man completed.